Hi everyone. Um, so I thought I'd try a live video uh, just because I've run out of time to uh, edit something together uh, this week. But I want to. Um, I, you might have seen the video I put out last week talking about social isolation. I kind of want to make uh, it a weekly thing as much as possible for uh, me to put out videos just talking about different issues around. Uh, Duchenne and my life and kind of the work of uh, DMD Pathfinders um, it's always difficult when you, um, you, you when you start out and you make a commitment to do something like this to actually uh, follow it through so I'm probably I'm going to say now but probably not going to hit the target of doing it every week but uh, I will do my best um, to to do that and uh, if I if I miss a few, then you'll just have to uh, forgive me. Um, so this week uh, I was gonna I was I'm gonna ring what to talk about, but I decided to talk about um, sport and sports just because we have our sports night coming up um, next uh, Monday uh, with DMD Pathfinders. So that's one of our online events where you can kind of get together with other adults with Duchenne and other people affected by Duchenne in different ways and just kind of chat about uh, anything you want to. In this case, it's going to be about sports. Um, so we're going to have kind of guided discussion around sports. And there's going to be a few kind of fun uh, games and quizzes, which looks quite interesting. So, um, yeah, for those of you who know me quite well, you'll know that I'm not really kind of massively into sports as such uh, and you wouldn't necessarily think that I would choose sport as a topic to talk about but um, I think for me the thing is I enjoy playing sport but I don't really enjoy watching it and that's always really been the case um, I don't know perhaps I might uh, blame um, being dragged along to my brother's uh, football matches when I was uh, younger and um, yeah being ready to just uh, watch the football which I found incredibly dull and um, no offence to my brother I'm sure he didn't like uh, being dragged along to many of the things that I had to do so I think it's only fair but um, yeah it did really rather put me off um, watching watching football and I don't know if that's to blame maybe it's just me maybe I'm just more of a a person that likes to be involved rather than uh, just watching from the sidelines but yeah I've never really been that into watching it but I think playing it yes I, I have really enjoyed that over the years um, I think I'm quite a competitive person um, that's been something that, that's driven me throughout my life really is uh, you know wanting wanting to, to do well and to you know compete at a high level um, and yeah, uh, I mean, I, I remember a little bit about um, sport when I was younger and when I was uh, still ambulant, still walking. Um, I remember kind of like uh, being involved in things like games of rounders and uh, uh, games of, uh, of football, but um, I don't think I ever really, uh, ever really competed because it wasn't... Uh, uh, it wasn't a level playing field with uh, with me having Duchenne. So um, yeah, I don't I don't think I ever really um, played it competitively when I was kind of in primary school. But um, then when I moved over to secondary school and uh, with other people in in wheelchairs, um, then uh, the game that was was played when I joined was uh, wheelchair hockey. Um, that was something that had been played for a few years and I remember the school that I went to which was uh, at, which was Angmering uh, they used to have uh, matches against uh, Trelaw School um, you know so it's interesting uh, thinking about that now because I have kind of interactions with, with Trelaws in a different context and uh, yeah you know, I think we, you know we saw them as as uh, kind of rivals in a way back then and um, 
so yeah, wheelchair hockey. I love playing that, and I I think I was quite good. And uh, you know, I think that was the first time really that I could play sports and actually compete on a level playing field. Um, I mean, I guess it wasn't always level playing field. I was in, you know, there were definitely some people that were similar ability to me, but I know there were also people with Duchenne that had advanced more. So um, you know, it wasn't necessarily kind of level when. Uh, Kind of, you're competing with with weaker strength against people with uh, who are stronger. But I think everyone enjoyed participating, uh, even though they were different at different levels of ability. And uh, yeah, that's something I think that really kind of it did play a part in forming my character. I think um, I also remember, you know, we had sports days at our school. So the uh, the Angling School has um, is basically a mainstream school and it's got a specialist unit attached where it provides different levels of support to students as as they need it so for me um, I didn't really need any academic or learning support but they did provide that if if you needed it so um, just kind of it, it, that might involve having an additional support person in, in the class or it might be doing specialist lessons but uh, yeah I didn't need that I, I managed in the in the classes fine but one thing it did uh, offer was uh, things like physio and hydrotherapy and um, also the potential to play sports so uh, yeah we did uh, the wheelchair hockey we also had sports days and I remember doing the uh, the wheelchair star them and I was uh, yeah very competitive with that I always wanted to to be at the top of that and um, I think I won it quite a few times but probably not all the time I know there was definitely some some good competition there um, but I think the sports really is they're important in terms of teaching like socializing skills and um, I think like particularly leadership skills sometimes as well um, that can be really important and uh, yeah I, I just think it helps uh, to, to form a character really when you actually have to um, compete as a team and uh, you know work together to achieve to, uh, common goals and uh, yeah I, I think it's a really important thing that um, you know young people with Duchenne really need to have have access to in some way so yeah that may mean that you know if you're in a kind of mainstream school and you don't have uh, much opportunity to uh, socialise with other people with uh, a similar condition then it can be difficult to find something where you're you've got a level playing field so I think it is important that you know even if people are in integrated into mainstream schools there needs to be that opportunity to participate in sport with people of a similar ability um, I think these days my my sports days are are rather limited, so um, yeah, I've kind of switched to gaming instead, and uh, yeah, you know, I still I I like to be competitive with that, but I think for me now, gaming is gaming is getting a lot harder. Um, obviously, you know, I do know there are charities out there that can help you keep gaming, um, but I think it's quite hard to be competitive and. Uh, when you're using a lot of the adaptive gaming uh, technology because it just slows you down. You can't be as quick. and uh, So, yeah, that that means I'm not quite so keen to play games where I feel like I'm competing against people. I uh, quite like the cooperative games. Um, so, so, yeah, you know, I do... I try and find different ways of competing with people where, where possible, you know, in a, in a friendly way, that is um, not in a crazy way. Um, but but yes, I think um, it is getting harder. I did um, have a look at power chair football, so um, we've just um, released a a guide on power chair football. That um, well, I uh, I will uh, share a link uh, this week with with everyone so you can see that. But yeah, we've just um, published this. Uh, this guide to getting involved in power chair football um, and a kind of shout out to Sam Bailey who helped us um, develop this and a few others um, who uh, contributed like 
quotes and experiences for this so um, just showing people how they can get involved in power chair football so I was um, considering that for a while but I, I've had a look at it a bit more and I just think it's uh, probably a little uh, beyond my my ability these days just in terms of the speed with which uh, the chairs move um, you know I'm, I'm finding it kind of like I'm less stable in the wheelchair than I used to be it's quite uh, you know even just going over pavements is quite um, can be a bit yeah challenging uh, for me so I, I think spinning around quickly may may be pushing my uh, my limits but I don't know I may, I may go out and just you know visit a training session and just see what it's like but I don't think I'm ever going to be playing that competitively but um, yeah I would encourage anyone to to kind of get involved in sport where you can so I'll, I'll share that share that link later this week um, so yeah I, th- I think that kind of sums up my experience of sport and um, I just wanted to just just say um, again about the sports night coming up because I think it's um, actually it looks really really interesting so as I said I'm not really kind of that into watching sport but I've, I've looked at the the program for the sports night and I think oh actually that looks quite fun so uh, yeah just kind of general chat and some some games like uh, particularly looking forward to the uh, the guest the moustache uh, game that we're going to be playing uh, different sportsmen so um, yeah do come along and check that out that's on uh, Monday uh, details are all on our um, on our page um so do check it out again we're going to be using discord to um to communicate so you can join that either chat by voice or um or you could also uh just yeah chat by text as well um just uh take take part in the in the fun of games so uh yeah do do come and join us for that um so i think that's that's really all i wanted to say today and uh yeah thanks everyone for kind of tuning in and, and following the video um, as I said I'm going to be trying to do this weekly as much as possible and uh, I'm going to try and keep it consistent so doing it on a Tuesday evening so and it might be a mixture of kind of live videos and uh, recorded videos as well but um, yeah if you have any like questions or things that you'd like me to pick up on on any of the videos that I'm doing do just kind of get in touch and, and let me know uh, and if you've got any yeah, suggestions for topics that I could cover then that'd be good to hear but yeah otherwise that's that's me done so uh, signing off for the evening and uh, yeah have a good evening <laughs>